Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com. In the previous Q&A, we took this photograph into Photoshop and we used the patch tool and the clone stamp in order to remove the cold sore from her lip. But I wanted to show my Lightroom friends that you can do the same thing without Photoshop using the spot removal tool. The spot removal tool was upgraded in Lightroom 5, so you will need Lightroom 5 for this exercise. I'm gonna press Command Plus or Control Plus on the PC in order to zoom in. I'm going to press Q on my keyboard to access the spot removal tool. And I notice the size, feather, and opacity. That all looks good for now. What I'm going to do is make my brush just a tad bigger with my right bracket. And I'm going to click and drag over the cold sore. And when I let go, what happens is Lightroom chooses a source and clearly not a good one because her nostril will not work. I'm going to place my mouse inside of that node. Now, if you have trouble seeing these, if you press H on your keyboard, you can toggle that view on and off. So I'm going to click and drag this over to the other side of her lip and line it up so that it matches perfectly. And when I let go, I can see that that looks pretty good, but I still have a few issues. I'm going to press H again. And the really nice thing is that you can use the spot removal tool on top of itself. So I'm going to click and drag just above the lip like that. And I'm going to move this to right about there. I'm going to press H on my keyboard to hide all of that. I'm going to zoom out with a command minus or control minus on the PC. And I'm going to use my backslash key. Remember, that's the key that leans to the left. It's above your enter or return key to look at the before and after. And I got to tell you, for Lightroom, I think that is phenomenal. I'm really happy with the retouching tools inside of Lightroom 5. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.